Hello, this is Bobby at Copel TV Repair, and uh, this is going to be functionality pro video with a few notes for our customer zoom video. This is a board that I believe uh, we have done two videos already about it, and it's been serviced. I don't remember two or three times now during during warranty. Two times, I believe. The first time, yes, two. First time it came, it was bad. I replaced a bunch of stuff. I believe we made a video. I believe it's uploaded. Um, then it came back, customer said that it has failed, and it had exactly the same failure as the first time, and I believe we made a video after that as well. And then we ran it for two days here, and it was working fine, so we sent it back, and uh, then customer said it had failed yet again, and it came back, and it is fully functional. And I have to apologize to the customer for uh, not getting back to them faster. It's been sitting there for three days for a number of reasons. Uh, this time we'll be sending back a different board. In a, I will talk about it in a minute. This this is just a proof that this board is working fine. Uh, let me see if I can press a button something here so that you can see something more. There you go. Uh, it has a black line because that connector is not connected at all, as you can see. Uh, and that is on purpose because there is a problem with the panel but uh, what I'm going to be doing after I disconnect this the better way um, I'm going to be installing this board which we will send back instead which is also working this board hasn't been serviced at all I believe it's just functional all their board today is uh, 25th of October 2019 and I am showing enough unique markings on the board so that the customer can see it. I'm not going to be installing it while uh, filming. I will continue the video in a few seconds when it is installed. So here is it with the, the other board installed. The one with the the one that hasn't been serviced, this is the original fuse. And the date is on the back, and this is the board that was in the TV until one or two minutes ago. Um, let me show what we are getting and make the notes. There you go. Menu. As you can see, it is working just normally. Um, Again, I do apologize for not handling this. I, we sent a message that we were going to be doing that video. Customer requested that they see the board working. We promised we will. That was two or three days ago. We just got carried away. It's been sitting there like that. And this is how we work. Uh, this board has been our testing board. Uh, you know, whenever we work on repairing the, the Z sustains or the main boards or the power board, and this is our testing set, and this has been the board that we use for testing whatever else we repair, or buffer board, or, or anything. And in cases like that, when we have to send a board, we send that one, because it has been working on multiple other tests, uh, maybe not long enough. In all fairness, I don't think that this board has been working for the hours that that one so after the second time we repaired it. But since this one came back totally working, right out of the box, no issue, nothing was done on it, we told the customer, and I'm repeating, there will be more problems. And those problems more likely are similar to the problems that we have here. Um, I believe I can turn that off. It's not going to be very easily seen, but um, there is a problem inside here, which manifests in... A few lines that can be seen in some of our other videos and when the TV is working if it gets get touched very slightly or sometimes by itself uh, there's an arcing there and that arcing provides enough shock to the IC that's that's uh, driving those those wires and just the bare shock of switching to whatever voltage it is to the connected state when the line disconnect or connect for a second for that row is enough to damage the IC 
And sometimes that uh, translates down to the sustain board. I've seen that on other LG plasma, particularly from the PA series. I've seen that a few times. I have at least another TV over there. This is not PA, uh, but it's, it's probably something that LG, uh, it's not necessarily an LG problem because we're talking about high voltages on those switches here. It can probably happen to any other panels, but LG are more prone, or at least that's what I've seen, uh, to developing some problems. So I do believe that the customer has a problem on their end. It, it is likely to be that one. That's the best explanation that I have, because they mentioned the failed top buffer board as well. Uh, but what I'm saying is, they will continue to have problems whether we return that board or this board, or any other board for that matter, because I don't think this is where the problem is. This is what uh, suffers from the problem, but it's not causing it. So uh, I've always said that a good company is not a company that will tell you that they will fix something and it's not gonna fail. That would be a stupid company. A good company is one that helps you realize what the problem is and works with you whenever a problem arises. So we fix that board once, um, we fixed it twice when it fell after the first fix. On the third time, it arrives working, and as a good company, we're gonna be sending a different working board. Uh, but we are also saying this is not where the problem is, so we're not gonna be continuing anymore. It, it is not fair. Here's a proof that board works. Our advice to the customer is move out of that TV. And you know, some jobs are better left out. Uh, a good professional is not the one that can fix anything because not everything can be fixed, but one who knows how to fix things and when not to try to fix things. And just as a smart person knows when to go for something and when it's wiser not to go for something. So uh, this is the last time in regards to this repair that we're sending back a working board. We will not be bothered anymore if that board gets failed because it's possible if that fails and shorts it out overloads it whatever uh just best of luck with that repair but it's the last time we are willing to participate in it it's been enough thank you